Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and good night, ladies and gentlemen of the internet and all variations in between. I am Lothans, and thank you so very much for donating your valuable time to the channel, checking out the inaugural episode of Crusader Kings 3 here on the YouTubes. So this is going to be a... Uh, a recording of the live stream that's happening right now so if I am a little bit distracted um, that is because of chat so if I if I start uh, you know interacting with them a little bit hopefully that's fine with you but uh, if you want to see me live and uh, and know when I uh, when I go live I am over on twitch.tv forward slash Lothans so without further ado, let's kind of get into this. I, I haven't really played too much of this game. I, you know, admittedly, I did do a little bit of a playthrough earlier in my uh, just privately, but um, I did not get very far. I did not get very far. So what I want to do is we're going to go up here to the 867 year 867 start Wrath of the Northmen because being a Viking sounds pretty freaking awesome to me. So what we want to do is try to figure out what we want to, who we want to be and what our ultimate goal is going to be. So we could be Bjorn Ironside. He's the Duke of Upland. We could be Ivar the Boneless. We could, he's the Duke of the Isles over here. Um... We could be Sigurdr, Snake in the Eye. He's the Duke of Jaland. Shaland. I don't. I don't know how to say that. Sorry. <laughs> uh, or we could be the Europeans, or the English, the Saxons, trying to stop the Viking invasion with Halfdan Whiteshirt, the Duke of York, and Earl Alfred of Wessex, the Count of Dorset. But I, I don't think we're going to do any of those things. In fact, there's a little thing down here in the bottom left corner. Play as any ruler in 867 or create your own. So that's actually exactly what we're going to do. We're going to create our own. Because uh, I think that would be freaking awesome. Let's go ahead and do that. So now we get to decide where we want to start. Who do we want to be? Uh, the map is pretty huge. Uh, we could be part of the Kyr Kyrgyz Khanate. We could be, a, you know, a Khan. We could be Genghis Khan, maybe. Uh, we could come down here into, um, you know, into Africa. We could, you know, be Indian. We could be, um, actually, I think down here is Africa, actually. My bad. <laughs> My bad. Um, yeah, we could be down here. Um, we could be, you know, part of the, part of the Saxons or the, the Norns, but not the Normans. I'm sorry, the Normandy, but we're going to, we're going to come up here somewhere into Scandinavia and we're going to try to, uh, exert our influence on that area quite considerably. So I think in this in this general area, I think I want to get a start. In my little private playthrough, I started right here. I started right here in Solgen. And uh, basically, it doesn't matter who I who I picked because I, I I'm just going to create my own ruler down here, and uh, you know make them whatever I want them to be. So this guy is irrelevant. It's just the area. So I'm thinking. I don't really know. Let's let's see here. We could be down here at the south coast, right? In the south coast. Control a lot of area. Like two holdings down here. But I, I think we want to start out small. We could be up here as well. These three little spots. We could be in Iceland. Um, hmm. We could be over here in, in Gauntland. 
Um, boy, that is a big, <laughs> that's a big area. Let's see. No, I don't want to do that. Maybe up here near Finland. Uh, this these places are much too large. I mean, we could, you know, we could come in here and be like, okay, I want to be, you know. Oh, it's, it's, this guy controls everything. Never mind. Oh, what about this? Oh, that's part of this. Who controls that? Is that the? Okay, so he he controls all of Upland. What about metal pad? Oh, Chieftain Ragnar. Oh, that is a very Viking sounding name, my friend. So. Chieftain Ragnar Olafersson with metal pad. He's 22. But again, he's irrelevant. He looks amazing, by the way. He looks outstanding. But you know, that's, it's fine. This might be the play, actually. Uh, we would be right next to this guy, Jarl Bjorn Ironside. And I... <laughs> I think I want to stay away from that dude for a little while. Maybe, maybe down here. Maybe down here in uh, Rogaland. Maybe, maybe. I don't know. Let's see, Rogaland. Uh, yeah, I think I think this is it. This is where we want to go. This will be fine. It's a pretty big area, but that's okay. It's okay. So we want to pick this guy, but we don't want to be him. We want to create our own ruler. So we're going to make our own guy. Uh, be male or female. That's interesting. Um, you could be uh, heterosexual, homosexual, bisexual, or asexual. I uh, apparently I self-reproduce if I'm asexual. Interesting. Uh, our religion is Asatru. And we are Norse. Hello, Grimsy. Welcome. Uh, we are making a Viking. So it very well could be the reign of Viking Mega Karen. It's very possible. Could be. Could be. Uh, but no, I think we're going to go with the male this time. And um, so we are, our culture is Norse. We're North Germanic. Uh, let's see. What do we want to be named here? Gudmund or Audun. <laughs> or we can have a Norse name Marcus Dag Tolir Rolfer. <laughs> Imagine having to say that. Rolfer. All the time. Ale. Oh. Perfect first name for a Viking. Ale. Dynasty. Afdover. Lambi. It's almost like Bambi. Hmm. <laughs> Snarfari. Uh, I don't know. I think we're going to name ourselves... Of the Volshua dynasty. I don't know. You know what? That is that is an excellent suggestion coming from chat. Ale Drinkerson. Of course, sired by Drinker. <laughs> So I think Drinker's son. I think that would be perfect. Perfect. Yes. So now we want to do this. I'm going to figure out what we want to look like here. Ale, Ale Drinkerson is perfect. Mm. Oh, I had a good one in there for a second. I wish you could just go in here and edit this. That would be nice. Uh, <laughs> the 
an, an antler? I don't know. Oh, that looks that looks good. I like that. That's fine. And then the realm. Let's see. What is this? Reset title coat of arms. That okay. Ooh. Viking longboat on the banner. I like. It. Okay. So we got that sorted. We got uh, we're Norse. We're male. We're heterosexual. Um, we're the As Asatru uh, religion. Ale Drinkerson. That's his dynasty image, and that's his chieftain of Rogaland banner. Perfect. All right, so we want to be uh, 16, I think, because you can still be considered an adult at 16, but, uh, you know, so you can still do stuff. And then we have the most amount of time to play as this guy. And we got 400 uh, points here as a limit on what we can do here, so I guess he can be... <laughs> wow. Wow. That is... That is not healthy, my friend. You should uh, put on some weight. There you go. Let's do, let's do that. Education. I think we're not going to be an amateurish plotter. I think we're going to be a brilliant strategist. Perfect. And then we're going to have a personality of. Let's see. Zealous? No. No, no, no. Compassionate? I, I think not. Um, sadistic, perhaps. Callous? Maybe. Uh, diplomacy goes down, intrigue goes up, dread gain, dread gain goes up by 25%, tyranny gain goes down by 20%, and dread decay goes down by 25%. But we lose attraction, and our close family no longer likes us. That's unfortunate. Uh, sadistic. Intrigue goes up. Prowess goes way up. That's your fight skill. Natural dread is 35. Wow. I don't, I don't want to be an asshole, though. I'm not vengeful. Virtuous to Asatruans? Oh. Okay. So that's my faith. So my fervor goes up by 50%. No head of faith. Okay. That's a true. The native faith of the Scandinavian region, Norse paganism, revolves around reverence of gods known as the Aesir. Adherents are expected to live and preferably die in an honorable fashion. So vengeful is really good for our religion. Our diplomacy goes down, but everything else goes up. Our dread goes up. Hmm. Yeah. I would go vengeful. And we can do another one here. Um, we still have plenty of points to go. Actually, let's bring this up a little bit here. Marshall. Uh, let's do 25 more. I mean, 20 is fine. Uh, stewardship, that's taxes. We want some of that. We don't need intrigue, that's fine. We want learning to be average prowess. We want this to be way up. 20 in that as well. Uh, we don't, we're not going to be married. We're just going to go and, and create our dynasty on our own. Live for the ale, die for the ale. Oh, brave. Marshal up, prowess up, attraction goes up, vassal opinion goes up. Likelihood of dying in battle, plus 100%. Wow. <laughs> but it's virtuous to our religion. Okay. I plan on leading my armies into battle. Like all the time. But that, the likelihood of dying in battle plus 100% is troubling, to say the least. To say the least. Wow. Um, hmm. <laughs> uh, wrathful. 
That'd be good. Diplomacy goes down again. Martial goes up. Intrigue goes down. Natural Dread goes up. Virtuous to my faith. And wrathful. Vengeful and wrathful. This guy's going to be a psychopath, man. Hell yeah. Hmm. Stubborn. A health small boost, but... I don't know. Forgiving. Mm. What about some of these? Diligent. Diplomacy, martial, stewardship, intrigue, learning all go up. Stress gain goes up when you get stressed. Huh. That might be worth it. We're at 398 points, though. <laughs> Okay, I think we have to stop there. Maybe we can squeeze. Nope. Can we squeeze another learning out? Nope. What about uh, stewardship? Nope. What about diplomacy? Ah, almost. How close can we get here? Oh my god. Oh, right there, right there, right there. We're not going to be sneaking around. We're not going to sneak around to kill people. We're not going to we're not going to poison people or send an assassin after them. No, no, no. No, no, no. If we're going to kill somebody, it's going to be like right in their face. We're going to walk up, tell them we're going to kill them and then kill them. That's pretty much how it's going to go. Okay. This this is good. Oh, other traits. Oh. <laughs> oh man, legendary blade master. Oh my god. <laughs> we have to get that. That's 12 prowess. We're going to have to take something else out. What about... We're going to... We're going to take out Wrathful. Oh my god, that, that did nothing. Okay, we'll keep Wrathful. Hmm... I guess some of our... Wow, our prowess is 32. <laughs> we can bring that down a little bit, I think. Yes. Um, okay. Sure. Can we... No. If we bring... Diplomacy... Uh, if we bring this to, like, one... Can we bring that... Up? Oh, so close. We're gonna We're going to keep it. Because that's really close. That's really close. So with Vengeful and Wrathful, if anybody steals our tanker to Veil, uh, they're done for. There's no there's no coming back from that. Okay, we're going to finalize this guy. Actually, um, let me say done with that. We're going to change his appearance. Yes. So customize further... Body fat low. Bust size. Oh, only visible from women. Okay, he's not going to have, like, giant Arnold Schwarzenegger pecs. Unfortunate. Uh, body. I guess that's that's it. Height. We can make him a... <laughs> we can make him massive or super tiny. I think pretty tall would be good. Head and neck... Oh boy, this is we can't rotate. I guess this is the front and side angle. We just it's just static. Okay. I don't know. That's fine. Head top height. Oh my. <laughs> uh, width. Okay. Head width. My goodness. All right. Uh, neck length. <laughs> Ostrich man. Yes. Uh, neck width. Does this guy have like the longest and thickest neck of all time? Let's do it. I like it. That's perfect. <laughs> ears. Not bothered by ears. Facial structure. Cheek definition. Okay. All right. That's fine. Uh, cheek fat. I, I'm not bothered. Um, 
sheep forward. Oh, I see. Um, yeah, you, you don't want the sunken eyes look. You know, you you want a little, want a little cheekbone in there. Uh, okay, whatever. Um, cheek definition. That seems to do absolutely nothing. Okay. Uh, cleft chin does nothing. Dimple chin also does nothing. All right. Some of these sliders apparently are useless. Uh, chin. <laughs> <laughs> there you go, buddy. All right, let's let's make him look a, a little bit normal. He's got his super neck going on. That's I don't know if we need it. <laughs> I don't know if we need too much more than that. Let's if we make his neck really stand out with like a super tiny chin, would that be better? Maybe. Maybe. All right. Okay. Let's see, what, what do we care about here? Um, jaw angle? Oh my. <laughs> uh, there's a little inbreeding on this guy, maybe. There we go. Jaw definition. Right. Oh, okay. Jaw forward. Super underbite. No, 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 no. Let's not do that. Jaw height, oh my god. Jaw width. <laughs> and temple definition. That seems to accomplish nothing. Okay. Alright. Uh, eyes. Have some green eyes. That would be good. Otherwise, I don't care. Nose. <laughs> let's Let's play with the nose a little bit. That should be interesting. Yeah, big old honker. There you go. Nose profile. That's fine. Ridge angle. Oh my god. Okay, put it back. Put it back. Put it back. <clears throat> I think we better leave him alone at this point. He's doing all right, you know. He's doing all right. Be a blonde boy or a redhead boy. I think, I think redhead boy. Oh, wow, that is, that is gorgeous right there, okay. Uh, let's go with something like, uh, pulled back, wavy, pulled back. <laughs> uh, no. Medium curls is not bad. Not bad. Uh, you know what? Medium unkempt. I think that's the way to go. Santo Santu. Welcome to the channel, man. Thank you for follow. Can't get a beard. Okay, finish appearance. And we're going to finalize. Yes. Okay, here we are. This is our guy. Chieftain Ale of Rogland. Of course, he is... Uh, <laughs> Oh, we, we haven't clicked play yet. All right, play. Perfect. All right, so game starts out paused. Here's our guy, Chieftain Ale. Uh, let's see. Where's his full name? Oh, Chieftain Ale of Rogland of House Drinkerson. Yes. All right. Lifestyle, we're going to go down the martial lifestyle, but which one do we want to go? Do we want to do Dread? I think Dread would be the way to go for this guy, right? So, Dread Gain? Yeah, sure. Alright, we'll go back to that and look at it a little bit more. No player error, I know. We're not married, I know. Okay. I can declare eight wars already. What? Alright, we'll come back to that. Um... You're currently under the seemly, seemly number of concubines for someone of your rank. Okay. So I can take on uh, concubines. All right, but 
maybe we maybe we come back to that too. Uh, you do not have the maximum number of champions employed. Ah, yes, these are like the my um, what's what's the word? A scroll? No, I don't know the word, but they're they're like knights in medieval times. They're your best warriors, right? If it was the if it was the TV show Vikings, it would be like all his best buddies that went raiding with him, right? The na the named characters that never died, you know. So here's all our guys right now. We have four guys. One of them is horrendous. We're not going to let you fight. I don't want you to fight either. <laughs> you guys are you guys are horrible. All right, we're going to invite champions. Yeah, well, that's we have to. We have to. All our people suck. So bad. Um, let's see who's in our court. We need a physician. Let's see. So, okay, this lady here is visiting. She's a decent fighter, but I don't think the women can fight. And unless you set them up and they, they like take the vows of the religion and then they could be shield maidens, but I, I, I have no idea how to do that. So she's really good at intrigue. Who's our... Uh, she's better than our spy master. Who do we have available? She's the best one. So we're going to recruit her for three gold. And we're going to assign her there. Yeah, get out of here. You're useless. You're dead to me. Um, our marshal's really good. All right, we want him to train our commanders. Switching between these, um, organized levies is when you want to go to war. You, it gives you more troops. Um, and basically, reinforcement rate goes up, so if you need to train them quickly, you can do that. So getting ready to go to war, you want to switch to that. But for right now, we train our commanders. All right, our chancellor is horrendous. Okay. So who is good at that? Nobody. <laughs> Absolutely nobody. All right. What about Stuart? Anybody good at that? No. Everybody else has zero stewardship. Excellent. All right. And this guy, we don't get a pick. He is assigned by our religious leader, whoever that is. I don't know. He's doing religious relations. Okay, so he could also fabricate a claim on somebody if we want. We don't have a spouse. We need to work that out too. Okay. So again, who's in our court? We need a physician. Who's somebody good at learning? Helena might not be bad. Stein's our chancellor. He's good as well. We all, okay, 10. That's better than 7. <laughs> oh, 13. Who is my goatee? Your goatee? Gaudy? Who is that? Oh, that's the friar. Okay, so he can't be... I don't think he can be the, um, the thing. So, it's like 10 is it. And that's... Oh, that's the marshal. No, no, no. That's this guy. This lady. That's her. <laughs> She's 25. She's an aggressive attacker, skilled tactician, gregarious, chaste, and honest. Okay. Would you like to be a doctor? Okay. Cost me 10 gold. Perfect. All right, so the, the beginning of the game is a lot of kind of set up. Hey, Santo, how's it going, man? All right, we are down here. This is us. So we have a Jadar. Taxes 1.2 per month, levies 365. 
Can't select that. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> what can we make? Palisades. Defender advantage goes up. Fort goes up. Levies and garrison goes up. Our spearmen and archer Let's get a boost. War camps. Knights goes up. Hmm. That would be delicious. Okay, gathering halls. I think we're going for the war camps. But we can't build it because we have no money. We gotta go raiding. We gotta go raiding. So we have 367, two champions. Mm. <laughs> we you know what? We're gonna we're gonna let time run on because I invited champions to come visit. And all that really means is we're gonna get better. Oh, we probably can't afford to uh, to hire them though if they show up. 